How you doing folks? We're here in camp just outside Tralee this morning or this afternoon. What date is it? About the 23rd or 4th of April. And we have Mahonies in the background here. You might be able to see them if we can turn the camera. Come on, camera turn. With their self-propelled um, slurry muck spreader. Slurry spreader, I suppose. Um, we're here with Tom Crean just outside camp. A lot of people might know Tom. Um, hi, Tom. <laughs> And um, we're here with Mahoney's with the self-propelled, is she a Verostat? I forget the name of it, but um, you can see it there, and um, she's a trailing shoe. Very, very popular, very, very successful machine. Um, puts the slurry, puts the down into the ground. Very successful if you have a lot of grass in the ground, it buries it into grass, but then more people will say that um, if you have it in the grass, it'll the shoes will get blocked. Here she goes, guys. V E R V I E T. Very right. Hydro trike. Three thousand two hundred gallons. You see it filling here now. And we're going on to see it spreading. We're here in camp just outside Tralee. And O'Mahony's, that's his phone number there. That's the lazy arm coming down into the ground. That's the hole in the ground being filled out of the tower. That's the tower there. 3,200 gallons takes about three and a half, four minutes, maybe a small bit more to fill it. We'll time it here now to filling it. Because the man must get out in to open the valves to re release the slurry in back into the pontoon, into the hole. the road and you'll see how fast um, or what way the steering is in it. Now the pump just cut out there herself loading it I'd say possibly about four minutes if that 3,200 gallons. Let's watch the front wheel now watch that for uh, a turn You're just rising up the lazy arm on the other side There's the arm in. Watch the front wheel now. Watch this for um She'd almost go all she actually does go nearly nearly all the way around, nearly parallel. Alright guys, let's go see him spreading. 